doing it. Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, man, in an interview with Fight Hype, you know, um, Andre Ward did a very interesting interview that more than likely may get him back in the good graces of, you know, the PBC nut huggers and the, you know, the Errol Spence apologists, you know, that where Errol Spence can do no wrong, you know, because at the end of the day, it's very difficult to try to talk boxing with some of these people. Because, like I said before, I am going to further talk about how people are trying to downplay what Bud did, you know, versus Kale Brook. It was a great win. But Audrey Ward, he, he said something that was very interesting. Now, I'm not going to say I agree with it, but I respect it. You know, certain people will love this interview. You know, I recommend you go to Fight Hype and listen to what Andre Ward said in regards to you know, the next move for Bud and everything. And he basically was talking about, you know, he basically was saying, you know, the whole thing about Errol Spence and Bud about, you know, that, you know, the fight should happen while they're in a prime and he doesn't believe Bud is afraid of Errol Spence and vice versa. And he said he, un, he said he in particularly kind of don't like how, they're moving and how Bud is being froze out, but he understands it. He says, like, to a certain degree, he basically saying Errol Spence holds the ace card because he has the options of fighting all those other guys like Keith Thurman and, you know, Sean Porter again and possibly some other people. You know, my thing is, you know, I understand that's what's going on. That's why I said it's a freeze out. I mean, we might as well call it what it is. You know, it's a freeze out. And he says, hey, and he spoke, you know, he spoke highly of Al Heyman. He said this is a Harvard graduate. He said that Al Heyman is playing, you know, chess, not checkers. And I understand that. Like I said, I understand some of the moves that Al Heyman has made, but I don't like them because they have hindered and they have hurt boxing as a whole and i'm not going to give al Heyman a pass because he's black because at the end of the day he's doing things that's hurting black fighters as well by him prolonging the fight that everybody wants to see which is bud versus errol spence once again he is holding two black fighters back from having a showdown once again it does not matter who bud is promoted by at the end of the day, this is an opportunity for Bud and Errol Spence both to get paid some big dollars for a big fight. So that's the problem. But, you know, Andre Ward, you know, he, he broke it down. And, you know, some people going to love it a lot. Me, myself, like I said, I understand it, but it doesn't mean that I have to like it. Because, like I said before, I'm going on record. I don't like some of the things Al Heyman has did as well as Al Heyman then done some good things. Al Heyman then done some things that I don't agree with. And I think that they are fixable. But at the end of the day, you still have to put your pride aside to make certain fights. Yes, you got a raw deal via top rank and HBO allegedly. But do you have to make everybody suffer? You know, do you have to make this? I'm not going to get mad. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get even. At the end of the day, when you try to get even with somebody, in most cases, it's because you mad at somebody. More than likely, when you are looking for retaliation and payback, it's because you are mad at what God did to you or somebody that you were close with. So usually when you retaliate and looking for payback, it's out of anger. So when somebody says... Don't get mad, get even. That's sort of like an oxymoron because most of the time when somebody d do something to you and trying to retaliate is out of anger. So, I mean, let's just keep it 100. But, yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, Andre Ward said some very interesting things. I don't want to spoil the whole interview, but at the end of the day, go to Fight Hype if you want to see the interview in its entirety. So, that's all I got to say. This your boy Town Biz, I'm out.